Number 66. Write a set of quantum numbers for each of the electrons with an n of 3 in a sc atom. Okay, so first off, sc is scandium, and scandium is right here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just write the electron configuration for scandium, because then I can see which electrons are in n equals 3. So I'm going to write that up here, sc. So always got to start from 1, right? And this is the electrons that are found in the s subshells. These are the electrons that are found in the p subshell. These are the electrons that are found in the D subshell, and these two rows are the electrons that are found in the F subshells. Remember by now that, you know, uh, the S's always start with 1, so 1S. The P's start with 2, so 2P. The D's start with 3, so 3D. And the F's start with 4, so 4F. Always got to start with 1, a.k.a. hydrogen, and go along your merry way until you get to scandium, which is right here. So let's draw it out. So I got to start with 1s2. Then I'm over here. So that's 2s2. Then I'm over here. So that's 2p6. Then I drop down over here. So that's 3s2. Then I'm over here. So that's 3p6. Oop. Then I am over here. So that's 4s2, and then last but not least, I'm in 3d1. Okay, so we need to draw quantum numbers for all the electrons that are found in n equals 3. So that's the two electrons in 3s2, that's the six electrons for 3p6, and that's the one electron for 3d1. So let's start it off. Now, for the first one, let's do 3s2. So I'm going to say 3, and there's two electrons here. So I should have two separate um, quantum numbers. One is for the first electron, the other one is for the second electron. So let's just work with the first one first. Now remember, your L values are telling you what your subshell is. So this chart is super important to memorize. So you can go from 0 all the way up until, let's just go to 4. Actually, I guess we'll go to, yeah, we'll go to four. So just know that zero equates to an S subshell, a one equates to a P, two is D, three is F, and then if you need to go forward, four is G, and then the rest of the alphabet. So in this case, the S is telling us that the L is equal to a zero, because S equals zero. So this would be zero. And now remember, the ML always equals negative L all the way to positive L. So from negative 0 to positive 0 for this one, it, it would just be 0. So this would be a 0. And remember, the MS is either a plus 1 half or a minus 1 half. That equates for the two electrons. That's the two here. So the first electron would be either one of the two, so either plus one half or minus one half, but then the other electron would be the same numbers because it's still the s orbital, so it would be still n equals three, l is zero, ml is zero, and then it would be a negative one half, and that gets rid of these two electrons in the 3s2 subshell, or the 3s subshell. So that gets this done with. Now let's figure out the quantum numbers for the 3p subshell, and you got to do that six times. So in this space, there should be six different, you know, lines. That's a little messy, but you get the point. Okay, so let's try it out. So the n has to be three, and you know what? I'm going to put a line here just to, like, differentiate the s's from now the p's that we're going to be talking about. So n is still 3, because that's what they wanted. Now, what L number? Okay, we're in the P's. So for the 6 of them, there's going to be a 1. So here, I'm going to just put 1. Now remember, ML is negative L all the way to positive L. So technically, if we're doing the L's of 1, the P's, it would be negative 1 all the way to positive 1. So that's 
negative 1, 0, and a plus 1. So let's first work us on negative 1. It's completely filled, right, because there's 6 electrons, 2 per each subshell, or 2 per each orbital. So here, it would be plus 1 half, and then the same thing, 3, 1, negative 1, for the other pairing. That's the two electrons. And you got to do this three times because there's three ML values. And two electrons times three will get you the six total electrons. So then we have three, one, because we're still in P. But now we got to deal with the zero ML. And in there, you have the two electrons. So plus one half, and then three, one, zero minus one half, and that's the other two electrons. Now we have a total of four. You see where we're going with this? We got to do it again now for the plus one, because that's where the other two electrons are going to be located. So if I do three, one, plus one, plus one half, and if I just squeeze it in here, three, one, plus one, and minus one half, that would be the two other electrons and two, four, six will give me the total of six electrons and this whole P is done. Now we just have to fill in for the one electron for the D. Um, so I'll just write it over here. N, L, M, L, M, S. And if I just do that in a couple of lines here, we only need one of them. So that's good. So now let's go for it. Still n equals 3, so 3 here. But now we're talking about d. And the d is 2. So 2's got to be here. Now remember, the ml is from negative l all the way to positive l. So it would be negative 2 all the way to positive 2. We only have one electron here, so it's got to be in the first number. So that's why it should be negative 2. Now this one, it doesn't really matter whether it's going up or down. You could say that it's plus one half, or you could say that it's minus one half, but that's just the one electron. I'm just going to say it's plus, it, it doesn't really matter, plus one half. And that's the one electron in the D orbital. And that gets rid of these guys. So all of these basically charts, right, is all electrons every set of quantum number for each electron in the S, P, and D, N equals 3 subshell of a scandium atom. And that's it. You could check this one off. So this one gave you a little uh, practice with quantum numbers, which professors and teachers love to ask on their tests or quizzes. So just be prepared for that. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. If it did, click the like button. And if you want to help the channel out, um, click the subscribe button. We're almost at 100 subscribers, so that's pretty awesome to see. I couldn't even imagine breaking 50, so thank you for that. We're very appreciative. And yeah, tell your classmates, tell your friends if they need help too. We'll be there for you guys, and I'll see you guys all in the next question. Bye-bye.